friendships! Uh, welcome back to another video. Dill and I just got back from a massive pet convention in Las Vegas. Uh, I probably should have brought another suitcase to bring back all these samples, but I just wanted to do a haul video today and show you guys what some of my favorite products are. So basically, um, I'll show you kind of, I'll start with the toys because those are a little bit more fun and then we'll move into some of the like grooming and care products. Um, but one of my favorite, most useful finds was this thing. So this is from a company called Heatwave. Super nice people. And for Dill, he does not like to drink water. He does not like to share his water bowls at the dog park. So this has been a godsend. Basically, all you do is you squeeze this, you unlock it, you squeeze this, fill it up with water, they drink out of it, and then if they don't drink all of it, you just suck it back up lock it <laughs> and then you're on your way so this thing is awesome um, and again it's from a company called heatwave I'll link all the different products in the description below so if you want to check them out you can um, the second toy company I found was it's called Tumbo and um, they have a bunch of really fun games for your dog uh, to just entertain themselves, which is great for Dill because he has a lot of energy. So this is basically, um, uh, you just throw it over the tree. I tried to do a live demo for you today, but um, we have a little bit of a yellow jacket infestation in one of our trees right now. So I went to go set it up and then I was like, maybe next time. So uh, stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, so they have a lot of really fun products. Um, they have a zip line that your dog can play with. Uh, there's a tug toy that hangs below it. Um, I really want to try this out with pickles and dangle some corn down and see if he eats the corn. So um, yeah, and super nice people. So another really good find. Um, I also found is, um, it's from Epic Disc and it's basically a frisbee chucker. So um, we tested it out yesterday and it's awesome. I brought it to the dog park. Um, so if you have a frisbee crazy dog, this thing goes extremely far. Um, I'll post a video of how it works later, but yeah, this one's really fun. Um, and then, <laughs> this is kind of genius. It's one of those products that's so simple and genius and it's like, why didn't I think of that? Um, but literally all it is, is it just clips, it's a ball that clips onto your cell phone. So for people like me that take a lot of photos of their dogs, um, Dill's ball crazy, so it's perfect. And I'm always <laughs> behind the camera, like trying to hold a ball in one hand and then treats in the other for pickles. So this is gonna make my life a lot easier. Um, and this is called the Pooch Selfie. Uh, so that was really fun. There is a company um, that also gave us a bunch of toys. Um, they're called Play. They're based in San Francisco and they have all sorts of adorable toys. This unicorn doodle loves. This is hers. Um, and then they have like fun photo prop toys as well. So like this is a toy, but it's also a Viking hat, which obviously I'm going to make Dill wear. Um, and then there's like a cowboy hat. So these are really cute. Um, is, um, this is really cool. It's a glow in the dark ball. So if your dog likes to play fetch at night, you can take this to the park and it glows up and it charges with a USB port. So this was really fun. Um, I forget where I got this, but I'll link it in the description below. Um, this backpack is also really cute. Um, I bought this for Dill when I was there. He carries his ball in it. Um, then in terms of the food and grooming products, one of the main reasons I was going and interested in going to the convention in the first place was because um, of CBD oil and doing research on that um, because I think it could provide a lot of value for Doodle and Cleo, my Boxer Bulldog. So a lot of these are CBD products. I won't talk about those in this video because I'm going to do an entirely separate video on that, but I'm already using them on the dogs and seeing some really amazing results, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I picked up from Night Eyes a, a glow-in-the-dark collar. They have all sorts of cool products. Oh, that's also where I got this guy from. They have all sorts of cool stuff um, for nighttime safety. Um, I've seen this company a lot on Instagram and I've started using their wrinkle balm on dill. So this stuff is great. They have a paw one too, a paw balm for um, dogs that have sensitive paws. One of my favorite finds this year was a shampoo dog grooming company called Scouts Honor. Um, so they're fantastic. It's a probiotic 
skincare line for pets. So they gave us um, their sample box, which has shampoo and then a dog deodorant, which is just spray on. So that smells amazing, and I love, love, love this brand, and I actually posted about them already on Instagram and had a lot of people also commenting that they love them. So I'm really excited to start using these guys regularly. They also gave us a probiotic kind of conditioner detangler, um, so I'm going to try that out on pickles too because um, pigs have really dry skin, and he said that this might help that. So we'll see. Um, what else? Oh! We got, um, this is a company called Paws, and they make these booties that actually work and stay on for your dog. So, uh, we have trying to put booties on dill when the pavement gets hot or when we go to the snow, and he just hates it, and he looks like one of those classic YouTube dogs that, like, don't know how to walk with these shoes on. Um, and they pretty much fall off in a matter of minutes. So these are awesome. They, like, kind of stick on like gloves. And um, I may even try them on Pickles because um, his back legs tend to slip a lot when we go out and about. Um, so, yeah, super excited about these guys. Um, I also got uh, this guy, which is from a company called Aquapaw, and they make detachable shower heads for dogs. Um, and then they also make this thing which sticks onto the bathtub. Um, and you're supposed to put peanut butter in it, which I can already hear the pig parents being like, hallelujah, because this thing is great for pigs too. Pigs do not like bath time. Um, so you just stick it there and then your dog licks at this um, while you're giving them a bath. And then you can also put peanut butter in here and just freeze it. Um, so it takes longer for them to eat. So I'm excited to try this guy out. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, I talk to the company Whimsy. Um, they are an all vegan line and they gave us a bunch of chews that are I can give to pickles and all the animals. This is, I don't know exactly how I feel about this, but this is a pig ear that's entirely vegetarian. Um, it makes me kind of sad when people feed their dogs pig ears. Um, so uh, I was like excited that they had this as an alternative for the dogs that like pig ears. Um, I've given it to Doodle and then I felt kind of weird. So um, I'm not really sure, maybe I'll give this to somebody else, but I do think it's really awesome of them that they're coming out with a whole line of um, vegan products for dogs and stuff that I can give. Pickles, speaking of which, I found a lot of stuff that I can give all my animals. Um, I feel like because I have a pig, I can't give my dogs pork, I have chickens, I can't give them chicken things. Um, so I try to mostly feed them vegetarian treats. So um, Halo has some amazing vegan uh, sweet potato, carrot, and quinoa treats that they love. It's already been opened and devoured. Um, we got some from Snooks, sweet potato steak fries. Steak fries. <laughs> well, they're just vegetarian. Um, but these guys are super nice, and I'm excited to test these out on pickles because it's like really important sometimes to keep your pig busy and occupied, so and they love the food. So this is gonna be perfect for that. Um, what else do we have here? Um, oh man, I got some really good pet hair removers um, that they're like small enough. This one's small enough where you can just throw it in your purse. Um, I constantly have dog hair on me all the time, and I a lot of times like don't even realize it, so it's nice to have one that I can keep in my purse or in the car. So these are awesome. I'll link these in the description below. I saw them being used on a demo. They work really well, and the people that own this company are really, really sweet and nice. Um, so I'm excited about these. Um, but yeah, basically everyone's going to be getting real spoiled for a while. <laughs> we have so many different treats. Uh, this is super cool. This is um, like basically Gatorade for dogs. So Dill gets really dehydrated when we take him to the dog park because he doesn't have, he has zero chill and he doesn't know how to calm down. So he overexerts himself. So I basically just pour this, mix this with water, pour it into this guy, and then Dill survives the dog park and everybody's happy. Um, so these guys are also really cool and I now swear by this product as well. Uh, so anyways, um, I don't want to talk for too long uh, and bore you guys, but uh, this is this is our haul. <laughs> it feels like Christmas um, for me and the animals. I will definitely do a whole other video, kind of like a CBD for dummies 
um, on uh, the world of CBD with in relation to pets, and then I'll also talk about some of the products that I've been using. Oh, I almost forgot. This was one of the best things from from the conference. Okay, so these are dog costumes, front-facing dog costumes. Her company is called Pandaloon. Um, I think I may just have to bring Dylan here so he can do a live model for you guys, but there is a bear one that she gave us, and then, guys, wait for it, there is <laughs> a bunny one that she gave us. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like I really need to close out this video with Dill wearing the costumes for you. I think that's the only right way to do this. <laughs> channel and we'll see you next time bye food tips <laughs>